communities that have better pedestrian environments often have an economic stimulus. They're communities that people want to live in and retail establishments where people can shop. Bicycling has been an important addition to our business. The bike and pedestrian infrastructure plays a pretty key role in that. Bring communities together, um, help the downtowns, and also clearly get people um, out there moving and, and being healthy. In Vermont, it's, it's, it's part and parcel of what the state is known for, you know, that healthy lifestyle. We also found that uh, it makes positive contribution to the economy as well. Transportation is the biggest contributor to greenhouse gases in Vermont, and so providing uh, good infrastructure for biking and walking and encouraging those uh, modes for shorter trips, which are the most polluting trips, um, will help us. There's so many communities that we hear from that are really excited about expanding uh, their bicycle and pedestrian network. You know, when we go into a community looking to improve pavement conditions, we always hear from folks, can't we just get a bit of shoulders? And, and we're trying to work closely with those advocates to see where we can expand our shoulders and still get the job done as quickly as possible. I think the benefits of that really extend from lowering our reliance on foreign oil uh, and contributing uh, pollution into our air quality, but also to the health benefits uh, of individuals who uh, we know we have an obesity epidemic in this country and we know we need to get out of our cars, out from behind our computers, and biking and walking is a great way to do it. To me, the number one public health priority right now is getting um, people, especially you know, our people, Americans, to exercise regularly. There's no question that for your physical health, losing weight, getting your blood pressure under control, avoiding diabetes, avoiding depression and Alzheimer's disease are all huge health benefits to bicycling or, or walking on a regular basis. Increasing one's walking or, or bicycling. Uh, that will have a significant um, effect on, on the health care uh, costs, both in terms of savings uh, on an individual basis and also to society. I feel very strongly about economic development in Vermont and looking to try to grow another business here in Vermont. And I'm a big believer in the ability to build brands in Vermont. And so that is a big part of why we brought Terry to Burlington. As a cycling company, it makes a lot of sense to find a hub of outdoor activity and cycling in particular. And even though Vermont is not known for being a cycling state 12 months out of the year, for the six or seven or even eight months that we can eke out, uh, there's a very healthy, active cycling community here in Burlington, Vermont. We want to maintain our downtowns and not just have them as a place for traffic to move through, but a place for people to gather, you know, businesses to thrive. Rec paths, I think, are are very important. I can keep the argument about rec paths squarely on economic development. I don't even have to talk about onion river sports. And what I mean is that there are there are so many studies done that when you look at uh, why people choose to live in an area, why people are going to move someplace, um, on the t on virtually at the top of all the poles might be school systems, might be job opportunity, but whether or not that area has a rec path is always in there, always in the top five of, of why people choose to move to a place. Often I'm finding an increased uh, awareness and interest in walkability, whether it's in the sense of moving to a place like Heinsburg where there's an emphasis on walking within the town center, or in more rural areas where people are looking to find uh, walking trails, mountain biking trails, and the availability of recreational space. And I think there's a greater demand and a greater appreciation for that. 
A number of studies have found that the appraised value is 5 to 10 percent more of those houses that are located near these uh, dedicated trails. When we started looking at areas and um, different houses and seeing that there were trails around, I think it became much more attractive. We're thrilled with where we are, um, and I think a lot of that does have to do with the trail system that's up there, essentially right in our backyard. There's a significant number of events that take place in, in Vermont each year that support 160 jobs. There's the Mad River Century Ride, there's the Harpoon Point to Point Tour. These are all really important events. The Green Mountain Stage Race, you know, that brings a lot of people into the state from out of state. Yeah, you know, most of them staying three nights. They're going to rent hotel rooms, they're going to eat their meals here. It has a great economic impact. I've heard, you know, it could potentially bring a million dollars into the valley for the weekend. It's very important. Ever since they put the um, bikeways along the side of the road, the bicycle companies have used the islands as a place to come touring. And since that time, we've had ever-increasing number of bicyclists and bicycle touring companies that use the inn. We get lots of calls mostly starting in the early spring and going right through till the fall. Forty percent of the phone calls that we get are either request a bike map or when asked if they would like one, say yes. So it has become a huge tourist attraction and also just fun for families on weekends. It's been terrific because the bicycle touring companies probably do 30 or more tours a year here. So it's been important economically for us to have them here. There was a paving project just north of here in Route 2. Just this last fall it finally got paved. We're talking about maybe a four mile section of road. We didn't anticipate it, but we saw a large increase uh, of people coming into town, touring groups. Um, people come into town for the day, uh, maybe they stop on their way through as they're cycling and they had to have lunch here. Um, a nice economic impact for us. Uh, so maybe, I don't think it was, uh, I don't think anybody intended we're going to repave this road and cyclists will come, but that's essentially what happened. I think bike packs are tremendous for a community for a variety of reasons. Certainly to bring communities together to provide a, a, a place for people to have uh, exercise, whether it be walking or bicycling, uh, and, but also it brings uh, a lot of vitality uh, to a downtown. Not only is uh, bike and pedestrian activities consistent with healthy lifestyle, the outdoor recreation orientation of the Vermont brand, it makes positive contribution to the economy as well. We do need to have that balance in our transportation system and provide people an option uh, so that they're able to bike and walk for certain trips. When we have compact neighborhoods that are walkable, uh, we find an economic vitality that is what we're trying to achieve here in Vermont. <laughs>